not say, you know, in, in, at home, but you hear it on the street. Once you become an adult. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. that's what that relationship is. Yeah, yeah. A lot of things are heard on the street, you know, when the boys are talking, that they don't use at home. They can't do that. This is part of the transition in becoming a man. Yeah. And that's how we practice our language yeah. away from home, you know, in the, in the man's way. So the connotation of a street talk is not correct, you know? Mm -hmm. Even though we hear it on the street, but it's, I would refer to it as the male, you know, way of speaking, you know, originated in the uh, in the character. So in other words, if by what you just explained, where does, where does the male, how would the male refer to that at home? Just like his mother. Speak like his mother. Yeah. Yeah. At home, we speak like our mother with respect. So, in other words, you would say he gabu. He gabu no. Yeah. All right. That's the reason why I thought that the ahu ye would be more of a Correct. street mm -hmm. talk. Correct. Mm -hmm. So know? wait, wait, wait. Yeah. 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 Correct. That's the reason why. Yeah. I, yeah. You know. But it's not that. That's the way you consider it. But the reason is what I'm giving you here. Nice. No, I understand. I understand. I'm curious. So if. Yeah, it is interesting. As a, as, a, as a man of the house, you're at home, you're calling your wife or somebody, what do you say? At home. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that. That's it's always, always, they got, always heard a copy. Yeah. yeah. Now you know why? No. This is what we've been teaching in class, talking in class, because we lose our father's language. Lose oh, the care. Yeah. Because, because when, of the respect that's that why. you grew up with it as a respect mm -hmm. in the house keep the as, a, as a child and yeah. you, you, there's that mm -hmm. there's that disconnect of okay now yeah. I'm the man of the house. Yeah. Correct. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. still I got two men are in the house and speaking. Uh -huh. Yeah. They they speak to each other at home yeah. as uh, oh, yeah. Uh, so if you and Uncle Freddie and, and my dad were Oh yeah, yeah. we're talking oh, yeah. Yeah, in, in the way men will talk. Okay. The only people are not allowed to speak like that are the children. So that's why I say it's not really a strict law. Mm -hmm. yeah. No one's going to take me to unlearn this? I'll be ready by next week. So, <laughs> so where, does, where does the border? Where is the border? I think you're right. 18. When you become yeah. a man. Right. Yeah. And then later on, we just don't continue, we just continue with the fact that we continue talking like that with our parents, but when it comes to our peers, we talk as a man. As, as a, you as, know. As so a, you, to, to my grandfather, you would still say, you wouldn't say, I don't, I, I I'll have to think twice because yeah. I'm already used to addressing him with the respect as a Agabu yeah. yeah. Nunuji. Yeah, yeah, there you know? go. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. then the proper way would be a Nushi way. You say you gotta wait. Nushi way, I'll be here. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. You're talking about your father as a. Oh, yeah. yeah right. I will never yeah. tell my father. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, no matter how old I am. Let me ask you, why wouldn't you talk to your father like that? Because why would, I, why would, uh -huh, why? I have respect for him. Because you have respect for him, right? But then, if Ahu Yet is a male version of come here, yeah. why, would it, come here. Yeah. why would it be disrespectful? Why would it be disrespectful? I don't think it. I don't think it's disrespectful. No, it's not. It's not why? disrespectful, but it's still just another sign of showing him. And it's like, it's, 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 you know what? Yeah. yeah. No, because the reason why you wouldn't, out of respect, is because this, the word "ah yeah" still boils down to as a street talk. No, no. I think it still boils down no. to as a street talk. No, okay. I think so because you won't really talk to your parents the way how you talk to your friends outside. No, no. This so is all. This is all. But it's not a street talk because it could be spoken at home mm. by the elders. It's not a slang. Okay, it's not a slang thing. You know? Yeah, you don't, you don't get it. But you know what? Remember, it's complicated. What we're talking here is it may not be what you grow up with. Come in, come in. You know? It may not be what you are exposed to. But remember, there is in Belize six communities, right? Very limited. In Guatemala, Two communities, right? Mm -hmm. Still very limited. Nicaragua, three communities. And barely speaking the language. 
Honduras. 30, 53. 36. <laughs> Officially, right? No, Honduras are 53 because there's no communities. You know? Let me say, I want to say something. That's so even like in English, even as, an, as a man, as an adult, of, as a man of my house, there's still, I still pepper the way I speak to my uncle, mm-hmm. my dad. Yeah. There's male uh, figures yeah. that I think twice on how to yeah, you approach can't, them. I'm that. still a man. Come He's here, a man. man. Yeah. You know right, what I mean? Know. And it's just, there's Could just a... please come here, dad? You know, yeah, there's a there's a sign of respect or deference yeah. that you have with them. I think yeah. that's yeah, that's part of the culture. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. That's the way the yeah. culture yeah. is. And it actually, have to yeah. be polite. Yeah, you have to be polite. Yeah, 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 that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. And okay. because we are not used to addressing our parents in that yeah. in such a way, like even though we have acquired the way of speaking as a male, yeah. you know, with our peers. <laughs> I wouldn't I I think it's a slang. It, to me, it sounds like you're tagging it as it's a slang. I wouldn't, I, from what they're saying, it's not a slang. It's just a word that you would just use as, yeah, just another form of showing respect. Uh, yeah, because we learn to speak it from our mother. We are allowed to be to speak the language like our mother when we're children. Yeah. You know, so the mother speaks like that all the time, and the child learns to speak politely also with respect. Then when he grows up. Even though before he grows up on the street, you know, yeah. with his peers, oh, yeah. they speak like boys, yeah. you know, yeah. like men. Yeah. But when addressing the real adult, then we have to address them with politeness, yeah. mm-hmm. like our mother. Respect. You know, so that's, that, that's how I understand it. <laughs> and it will not be acceptable nowhere in any of these Garifuna communities to say that this way of speaking is a street talk. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's it's not. Gonna, I can tell you right now that, that you know it will be like. Um, What's an example of a street talk? Then? I was just gonna ask that. <laughs> well, you write it what, up. What, 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 yeah, what do you like what, the, the what bad words? Refer, what would you refer as street talk? Not not bad words. I but think what bad words. Refer, what no? What would you refer as a slang in Garifuna as street talk? Apart from ahu yes, street talk is something that you, street street that you cannot use at home. Because it's, it's, it's not appropriate. It's only, no, not only disrespectful, it's, it's inappropriate. Not problem, not problem. How about yeah. the lino? How about the lino? Yeah, yeah like, like, like that thing, Yeah, this is a way that doesn't come from the, you know, the, from the, uh, you know, the language itself. Yeah. How are you? Como estas? Tranquilo. Right? The yeah. lino. <laughs> How are you? Cool. Yeah. Right? Okay, what I'm trying to... What I'm trying to understand, like for instance, I don't really know what is a street talk in Garifuna from what is a home talk. So if I give an example in English, like for instance, if I go to my parents, I'm not gonna say what's up, I'll say how you doing. Yeah. You know? What's up to me would yeah. consider a street talk. That's correct. You know? Okay. So that's the, that's what I'm kind correct. of asking as far correct. as in Garifuna. Yeah, mm-hmm. Now, how is the, the word what's up in English? What's the origin? Is that, so, no, what's what's is that proper English? No, 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 it's broken English. Okay, now the difference is that this is not broken in Garifuna. This is proper Garifuna. You know, it came with the language. And it's appropriate to speak like this in any environment. It just limits certain people from speaking it. Like children and female. And woman. Is that correct? Is that Mm-hmm. You got it. <laughs> okay, I'll give you an example. Let's find some word that exists in both languages. Wait, can, before we go, Kakatongo, like he was saying, to me that sounds like that's a familiarity, like, you know, hey, it's a friend, I know you, like you saying, if you if saw him on the street, I would say that. But if you came into a, a business or a new house, you wouldn't greet somebody you no. know, don't know <laughs> that you're not familiar with no, unless, in that. No, unless they're my friends. Unless they're your friend, right? No grown-ups around. I think this is that. To me, that's a. I can see that this being like a street talk, yeah, right? Yeah. So would that be, the would that would be, would be considered be, as a street talk in Garifuna? No. But you gotta remember too, there's not a, a direct translation. You can't say everything the same way in in one language to the other. So you're not gonna have a direct, you know, street. Talk. Kaka tebe is the word female ask. It's the 
the way man will ask. Okay. I could meet you right now, Braka Kakomo, if you're my friend, right? Uh -huh. If I know you. Uh -huh. What's going on? Uh -huh. But if I'm just meeting you, I'll just wait the good at Manasu Dirunimo, right? I'm not gonna ask you Kakatombo, because I don't know you. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> just like in English, I'm not gonna ask what's going on. Yeah. Right? I don't know you. I, I barely seen you today. So same thing. But if we're buddies, uh -huh. you know, kakatombo, what's going on? And that's the translation. So would you go would you go home to your parents and ask and ask your dad kakatombo? No. no. <laughs> I will ask my dad kakatebe. Okay, I wouldn't you know? use that. But I'll go home. <laughs> I, yes. No, I'll go home and ask my brother Kakatombo in front of my father. Mm -hmm. You know, I can talk to anybody at home like that. Speaking at work is not the same way you would speak at, at you know, with your friends. Yeah. And that's basically how these different phrases are broken down. Sure. Different <laughs> connect where you would speak in a different situation. Without having to be strict. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Correct? Okay, so before we prolong, I don't want to prolong this, but does Garifuna language has what you would refer to as a street talk and a home talk? I can still say that I would say no with no bad words. Yeah, I would say no. I wouldn't even say that. Even bad words? Is that just because bad words don't mean you just bad words? People, you know, you, they speak your English. Yeah. We all grew up knowing not to, you know, say anything, any bad word at home. Yeah. So that's out of the picture right there. I'm just talking about street talk and home talk. I'm not because familiar with street talk. I don't think there's any it there's seems like I'm getting the understanding that Garifuna language doesn't have no street talk. But yet, there are certain things you can say outside to your. It's not that it's outside. It's just that it's away from your parents. Mm -hmm. You don't speak to them specifically that way, mm -hmm. where they can hear you. I'm not familiar with street talk in the Garifuna language. Like, yeah. like, I remember growing up, you know, what we call, what the older people call yeah. Queenie, they call her Lagule. But of course, we couldn't say that <laughs> as kids. <laughs> like, but, then, but then because we were, we were raised up, we would hear the adults say it. Yeah. I remember my sister was like, hi, Lagule, to Queenie. Like, who are your friends? Your friend <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody. <laughs> we would laugh and chuckle, but then, you know, it's well, just like. What would be her response to that? So when my sister thought that she was old enough to call her the Gule Way, Maybe then that could be considered street talk. Well, I'm, no, I'm, I think it's a generation. Nick, 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 yeah, like generation. Said, you, yeah. you can't jump your generation, I'm sorry. No, no, no yeah, way. that's true. I agree. It's not going to happen. Okay. Generation. Yes. Unless you are yes. 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 very close. Because I know there are some adults that are very um, friendly with younger people. Yeah. And they can, you know, they. There's they a bridge that's been that made there. That's 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 it, but then there's that bond that's yeah. been created over a period of years. Yeah. The first thing I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad is my friend. You know. I just said, yeah. 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 <laughs> if someone say that, <laughs> yeah. careful. Okay. So this is how you say, come and dance with me. You know, Higabu, Babinaha, Numa. You notice how the infinity bear remains there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So you just add a marker, which means refers to you. To you. Second person. So second person. Oh, so how about you? you go dance? You? You, you go dance with him. Beba. Abinaha. Luma. So the, the B switches yeah. over to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's different thing. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, now let's go to the um, past tense, right? Past tense, yes, yes. Uh, I have danced, I dance, I have danced. Yes. Maybe if you add, I could have danced it. Abina <laughs> Dugnali. 
Oh, yeah. Translator, Miss Magna. Or Mr. Ellis. Abina had the gunali. You sort of danced it, no? Wow. <laughs> wow. Is, uh, you gave it a good try. Yeah. <laughs> Abina had the no, gunali. You still um, dance. I've always, I've always danced. I've always danced. I could have danced it. I could have danced it. I always, no, this I is my past tense. Yeah. Okay. I try to dance. Always, when you use I always, it does, it's not past tense. I, I, I try to dance. Yeah, I uh, tried okay, it. when do you use do good? Which Something that you know, always, you always, you always notice, You notice how it's yeah, not on yeah. in here, right? It's the mm -hmm. same thing with we add do good. Right. It implies that you're not very happy with what you did, but you did it anyway. Yeah. So if you try it, like mm -hmm. I tried to dance it. Yeah, that's how it's, that's how I pronounce it. Right? But you, well, you dance it, it's like, that's yeah, what yeah, 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 that's you what yeah, that's it. That's what, yeah, that's how I translated. Yeah, yeah, I did my best, yeah. right? I yeah. tried to, oh yeah, yeah. I gave it a try, but I didn't like it. Did you do it? Yeah, 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 yeah you did. Yeah. Yeah. I think I did an alley. Yeah, I did it already. I think about it. Yeah, right. I think I did an alley. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I guess. Right? I tried. It's not something that you're very happy with, mm -hmm. you know, but you did it anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So it's wow. like you're not content. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're expecting that somebody may not be content with it. That's right.